Okay, so we talked about this minor nine, right? And I showed you how easy it was um, to really uh, get that. The reason why it's so difficult for musicians to hear it because there are certain chords like a, a major chord, you can hear that, but a, but a minor nine, a major nine, it, it, it has enough dissonant to where you can't really hear the chord. Now, the little brother to the minor nine is what you would guess. The major nine, exactly. Minor nines and major nines are the, the keys to neo-soul music. So we showed you a little bit of this minor nine, and I'm going to show you a little bit of this, uh, this major nine, and it works pretty much the same way. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, say if I do a B-flat major nine. All I did was go along a scale. So I went B flat, A flat, G flat. It works the same way. It works the same way as the minor nine, but not exactly the same way, okay? The minor nine allows you to. The major nine, because the, 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 the attitude of a major key is to define the root. So, so for example, see how to define the one? So the concept of the major nine in Neo Soul is that you gotta find things that work together. You can't just do the anything in, like you did in the minor nine. So let me show you an example. One example here is we're going to B flat, A flat, G flat. So it goes like. Concept with that major nine is a little different from the minor nine. As I said, you can't use the same, the same, the same concept there because it, it, it creates more of a melody. So you have to kind of use your ear a little bit there. Now, the beautiful thing about the minor nine and major nine, they 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 can they they're like brothers and sisters. So check this out. I'm gonna groove, give me a um, give me a groove on B flat, just stay around B flat. Um, Give me a little different beat, just a little different beat. Be creative, it ain't gonna matter on this one. So uh, I'm gonna let the drummer start on this one. Ah. Now stay on that B flat for me, LeVon. Now watch this. Minor nine. Major nine, look at that. Oh, I'm playing a minor nine. Minor nine, then the major nine. All right, give me a little more, Levant. Le Woo! So what I'm saying is minor.
so we go back and forth switching between the minor nine and the major nine and you can create all kinds of special so you so right there I just did the remember we did the F sharp we did the F sharp A flat all major nine let's do minor minor major F sharp minor nine I'm sorry G flat minor nine A flat minor nine B flat major nine so Now I'm gonna show you a particular song that, uh, not really a song, but just a movement that you guys probably maybe recognize or not, but it's a popular movement. And along with the major nine, I want to introduce to you the concept of the relative minor. The concept of the re relative minor in, in Neo Soul is it, it, it's a partner to the major nine and the minor nine, but <clears throat> it's in a different key. So let me, let me show you. So say we in the key of F. The little brother, the relative, would be like the A flat. So we. So, so, so the thing is here, I'm in, and remember this is all in the documentation. I'm in F, right? So. So the concept there is, is that it creates this extra, it creates this minor-ish type of dark tone, and then it goes back to the major. That's the concept of Neo Soul, is that when you think of Neo Soul, you think of painters, you think of poetry, you think of hip hop, you think of vibe. The thing that, that, the thing that has the predominant quality of all that is artistic and free movement. And you want your music to be as free. So for example, what you say in the music, you say happy, little not so happy, back to happy. You represent every single movement in Neo Soul. That's why the chords go along with the whole vibe with freestyle, hip hop, poetry, uh, readings, different things like that. So major nine, major nine, all majors. Here we go.
Okay. 